An American hunter is pushing back against her critics. After photos of her next to a giraffe she killed in South Africa triggered global outrage. Tess Thompson Talley tells CBS this morning she killed the old bull giraffe to prevent it from attacking younger giraffes. She said, quote, this is called conservation through game management. David Begno shows us why some conservationists aren't buying her explanation. David, good morning. Anthony, good morning. You know, the situation's being compared to Cecil the lion. Remember that iconic big cat that was hunted down by a Minnesota dentist back in 2015? Now, even though the giraffe in this case wasn't world famous like Cecil, the response from animal lovers has been equally intense. Conservationists fear that one of the greatest beasts of the African savanna could soon face extinction. Fewer than 100,000 giraffes remain on the entire planet. So when these pictures surfaced of Tess Thompson Talley posing with a giraffe she'd just killed, conservationists were sickened. It's shocking that anyone would take uh, joy or pleasure in killing a beautiful and graceful animal like a giraffe. It was an obscure news website called Africland that posted the pictures on Twitter, describing Tally as a white American savage who is partly a Neanderthal. Actress Deborah Messing said she was a vile, heartless, selfish murderer. People will say stuff, you know, behind a computer screen they never say to your face. Paul Babaz is president of the hunting advocacy group Safari Club International. Tess Thompson Talley is also a member. She was hunting in South Africa, and giraffes are legal to hunt in South Africa. In a statement, Talley said the giraffe she killed last year was over 18 years old and beyond breeding age, yet had killed three younger bulls. Now that the giraffe is gone, the younger bulls are able to breed, she said. According to Babaz, the trophy fee for a giraffe is about two to $3,000 per animal. He says because money from legal hunting helps support the local community, it provides an incentive to make sure big game animals don't become extinct. Without that, the poachers will come in and kill the animals indiscriminately, which is very unfortunate. Tally's prey was a South African giraffe that had a black coat due to its age. It's a subspecies that's population is up actually 167% since 1979 to more than 21,000. But the giraffe population overall has declined as much as 40 percent. Iris Ho with Humane Society International insists that wildlife tourism is far more beneficial for the animals and local communities than trophy hunting. U.S. imports, you know, almost uh, 4,000 giraffe uh, trophies for the last 10 years. Probably every day there's a giraffe being killed and imported into the U.S. as hunting trophy. Now, according to Babaz, that hunting advocate we spoke to, Tally ate some of the giraffe's meat during the hunting trip, but gave most of it away to feed more than 200 local villagers, including children at an orphanage. He was not able to prove that that happened, and we cannot independently confirm it. So many questions here. I mean, I have to say, I have trouble with this whole idea of posing with an animal you just shot. I do, shot. too. I yeah. Mean, I don't understand why you want to do that. I don't either. I just threw up in my mouth. And then when you just give that tag that you gave, it's, it, the, the more you hear, it, the worse it gets. I didn't even know that people hunted giraffes, number one. Yeah. Growing up in Texas like Nora and I did, look, big game hunting is not foreign. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I, maybe ignorantly, didn't know the giraffes. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know so the giraffes either. either. Yeah. All right. Thank you, David. Thank you, David.